everyone. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, this is my second time in this forum. Last year, I, I, I presented on the IEEE standard 1474.1, which is a CBTC standard. It's also a automation standard, uh, but based uh, written by IEEE. And I wanted to do this topic uh, for a little while, uh, 62290, and uh, finally got a chance. So it's, it's, a, it's an opportunity for me to dive into this standard a little bit more detail. Uh, I mean, I'm aware of it for some time, but uh, in, in this... Uh, as part of this presentation, I really had to kind of go into a little bit deeper. So it was a, it's a great opportunity for me to learn. So it's a pleasure to be discussing this particular topic. Um, okay, so for today's agenda, we're going to be talking about the grades of automation. This is based on the uh, Senelec standard 62290-1. Uh, and we'll also be covering dash two slightly. Uh, this standard is what defines the grade of automation, and in there it's where, where they define the levels, uh, GOA 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, and the various levels uh, that are, that are um, defined in that standard. So I'll be going through each one of these uh, standards, uh, sorry, each one of these levels uh, in, this, in this presentation. So before I begin, what is the, um, the IEC standard? Um, it's the focus on urban transit systems, uh, and it refers to these as UGT, or Urban Guided Transit. That's how the standard refers to it. This standard is focused on subways and metros like New York City Transit, London Underground, or Toronto Transit Commission. Uh, they qualify as UG UGT. Uh, freight and commuter rail do not, based on what they say in there. So it's more focused on subways and metros uh, uh, systems and not uh, freight and commuter systems. So grade of automation is defined in section 4.2. It's got five levels, uh, GOA 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. First is line of sight, which is no signaling. Uh, GOA 1 is a non-automated train operation, which would be more akin to like a conventionally signal system. And then GOA 2, 3, and 4, they are the levels where automation is introduced uh, and various levels of automation. Uh, the grade of automation, it's... Uh, in order to qualify for a certain level, that system must implement a list of mandatory basic functions. And I'll be going through that in this, uh, in this presentation. The standard also covers optional functions for each GOA level, not for each, but it discusses optional functions as well. But the focus of this presentation is only going to be on the mandatory functions that are defined for each grade because it's those mandatory functions that define the level, uh, the GOA level uh, for each, each level. So this is a table taken right out of the standard, 62290, it's table one. Uh, it's listing all of the mandatory functions uh, for each grade. So if you look at GOA zero, uh, what qualifies it as GOA zero is, is basically all of these functions or, or lack of in this case. But in order to define a GOA one system, it's the first three functions that are, that are listed in this table. If those are implemented, that's considered GOA 1 and so on. So uh, GOA 2, GOA 3, and then GOA 4, uh, in order to become these levels, these are the functions that must be implemented. Uh, and I'll describe each one of these functions in a little more detail as we go further. But I just wanted to flash this table up so everyone understands the, the, uh, the functions that we're going to be discussing here. Mm -hmm. 